week, we're in the oldest desert on the planet. 50,000 square miles and the harshest environment you'll ever find an elephant. That area is one of the harshest places left on this planet. But if we pull it off, it'll feed the whole tribe. Welcome to Namibia. We travel to a lot of places where the wildlife is as beautiful as any place you'll ever see. But to see it, you have to look past a lot of human hardship. And that's something I just can't do. These houses here are made from sticks and then uh, dung mixed with mud and smeared on there to dry. And that's kind of the traditional housing around here. But just these, these areas with the little animal pens and, and the people out taking care of their flocks and just nothing here. Just really makes you feel like you're stepping back about 4,000 years. Well, firstly, what makes Doro Navas a very unique place as it's a million acres surrounding some of the um, most historical places in Namibia, some of the tourist hotspots that we would call in Namibia, the petrified uh, forests, some Bushman engravings. Um, we have uh, a big concentration of desert elephant here, black rhino, and then just the overall scenery in this concession is just absolutely spectacular. Every couple of miles you're in a different rock structure it makes it a, a absolutely wonderful scenic um, hunt um, it is also a much tougher hunt with, uh, compared to the rest of uh, um, Namibia here you travel hundreds of miles every day to uh, to find game so it's definitely a different experience The species that you find in this desert uh, um, environment, um, like the desert elephant, um, has, has adapted so well to, to this uh, um, area here. The way that they feed, how they preserve the trees, that they don't, they, they don't push over a tree. They will uh, break branches and all that, but they will never harm the tree so that it dies. These elephants know exactly where the water is and they will travel hundreds and hundreds of miles to, to get to water and uh, they will also last without water for much longer than, than the other elephant species um, throughout Africa. Uh, they are so well adapted for, for walking in these areas with their long legs and their big feet. So there it is. 77 hours after leaving my Montana home, the Namib Desert, 50,000 square miles of the harshest environment you will ever find an elephant in. We've got a beautiful tent camp here set up for us, and we're going to go unpack and then check in with Cornet and see just exactly what his plan is for finding an elephant in all of this. The Doronavas camp is our newest camp right now. It's a uh, it's uh, what we call our spy camp, um, but it's not like you guys are used to back home when you go to Alaska or any of those wilderness places. Here we actually have a hot shower, a flush toilet. Um, we have a now running kitchen, beds that you sleep on, on with nice bedding and all that luxuries that you wouldn't expect in a, in, a, in a spy camp. So everything is still very comfortable and very professional. Visit the Magnum Hunt Club on Facebook to follow all of our adventures and to plan your own. Nosler's Magnum TV is brought to you by Nosler Upfront and by Nikon.
the Magnum Hunt Club, Namibia Tourism Board, and Thompson Center's new Dimension Bolt Action Platform. Farmageddon. Experience the new performance standard in varmint bullets and ammunition. When's the last time you shot all these animals with the same rifle? Now you can do it for real. The Dimension Bolt Action Platform is the most advanced bolt action rifle ever made. It shoots multiple calibers just by changing components and guarantees minute of angle accuracy. It's time to change the way you think about bolt action rifles the new Dimension Bolt Action Platform from Thompson Center. This portion of Nosler's Magnum TV is brought to you by Blackhorn 209. Well, I guess you got something pretty special lined up for us today, huh? Yes, James, today we are going to travel into this million acre Doro Navas Conservancy. And if you don't have an idea how big million acres is, today you're going to find out. We're going to start off here in campus about 100 miles from the coast. The closest we're going to get to the coast today is about 30 miles. So it's a long loop we're going to make where I'm going to take you through some spectacular country. And I can promise you it's uh, something that you haven't experienced or expected to experience in Namibia. Namibia is a leader in conservation in Africa in many ways. Um, the conservancy concept that was started um, in the late 90s in Namibia has been uh, setting an example to, to the rest of Africa how to preserve um, their wildlife. And uh, conservation through utilization is probably one of the best ways that you can ever preserve animals. People tend to forget about the people of Africa and uh, that these animals and these resources has been their lifeline for centuries, for hundreds of thousands of years. And uh, we can't just tell these people, sorry, now it's off limits, you can't eat them anymore or you can't uh, utilize these animals anymore. That's where poaching and all those things start getting out of hand. And through these conservancies, ownership of animals went back to the local people and they were given the responsibility to look after these animals, um, to make sure that there is for the eco-tourist enough animals to photograph. And then also they brought in the trophy hunting part where the, where the conservancy will get benefit with the meat they get from these animals and also with a financial benefit that goes to the uh, community. The meat will be distributed to almost 3,000 people that live in this conservancy. And that just makes the people here realize that let's look after these animals. The financial uh, um, impact that they feel here, all the money that the people spend here um, is being spent on schools and uh, clinics and, and all those stuff that benefit the communities here. So the trophy hunting industry in Namibia has done so much for conservation in these communities and for developing these uh, communities. Very few people really know the real picture of what's happening in a country where wildlife has no value outside of a national park. There is no animals left. Um, in Namibia, you go outside the national parks and there's animals everywhere because they have a value. And as soon as everybody realizes that we need to keep a value on everything to make them survive and thrive. They need a value. We're at the Wildlife Department at Doro Navas Conservancy. And they do a lot of tracking and analyzing of data around here about the, the cost of the animals that are cared for 
uh, on the humans and farming and stuff. So they've got it all graphed out here and it shows the annual cost of all these things. Interesting statistic, the elephant, way more than all the other animals combined as far as damage, but then of course you'd expect that. We are lucky enough in Namibia with a, a game department that feels very strongly about conservation and about our hunting industry here. Um, the animals, especially the desert elephant in Namibia, is being monitored very carefully. Every year they are doing aerial counts. There's animals that are collared to see how um, big an area they cover, um, what their patterns are. So we know exactly what's going on with these populations. And we're standing here and it's probably close to 100 Fahrenheit huh? yep. in the sun. It's, yeah. And it's winter time. <laughs> There's a real tiny guy being born into a tough life. Yes. Being a desert elephant. <laughs> Nosler's Magnum TV is brought to you by The Sportsman's Guide, America's largest supplier of name brand hunting supplies at closeout prices. You save time and money because The Sportsman's Guide gives you fast shipping directly to your home. Lowest price, best quality, guaranteed. This portion of Nosler's Magnum TV is brought to you by Brownells. The conservation story in the desert, because this is such a fragile environment, you really, really have to look after um, the resources here so that there is not uh, too much conflict between human and, and animal here. Um, a year like this, this year, there's been almost no rain in the desert. And the people here are stock farmers. They've got their cattle, sheep and goat, and they are competing with the wild animals. So there need to be a balance of of how many animals you can keep in a desert environment like this um, and still to have your, your farmers around. Yeah, the elephants, now they can't get to the water, so they'll just push over the concrete and break them as far as they, so they can reach the water. So some of them, I mean, they're broken down to all here. Um, these troughs, I mean, when they are filled up, one elephant will drink all that water easily. So yeah, the, the damage here is, they do a lot of damage to the water pumps. So. Well, this is the easiest water in the desert for an elephant, I suppose. For sure, yeah, for sure. So. Water is life. Not a lot of people get the privilege to come into the Namib Desert and hunt one of these unique animals. The population of the desert elephant has been growing really well over the last 20 years. Um, and once every three or four years, we will get an elephant here on quota um, just to reward the communities here for saying thank you to them for looking after these animals. A guy who lives out in a rural area He's got livestock in a livestock well. And he had the uh, elephants come in. He was afraid they would damage the well, so chased him off. And we're just climbing up here to see if we can see him or make a plan. About less, yeah, almost a mile away. He's behind some brush now, I don't see him now. But there's two of them walking down this way. And these are the two elephants that's been giving these local guys a lot of problems, breaking their water troughs and pushing over the windmills and all that type of stuff, so... Just the ones okay. looking for. Yeah, the wind is absolutely perfect.
so let's just try to sneak up a bit closer we'll try to cut them off okay but i think it's a good time to load up and get ready Come on, okay, just put one right in it. Okay, put it in chest. Okay, okay, reload. Got the gun, reload, come this side. Put one right, right in, in the those room. folds? Yeah, right in those folds. Now that is how you shoot an elephant, my bud. Well done. Thank you, man. Well done. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, Great my buddy. goodness. What an honor. What an honor. Well done, buddy. Well done. Oh. You know what? We call a very good elephant hunt. A hunt when the pH doesn't have to shoot that. <laughs> well done, eh? Yeah, thanks a lot. That's thanks a lot, Goku. Thank you, brother. They say that an elephant hunt is a very emotional event. And I can tell you, it is. And when you do it in the desert, and you see an animal like this, it doesn't even look like it belongs there. The good thing is we killed one that was causing problems yeah, here. It was the absolute perfect reason why they have just a couple of tags. Yeah. Am I impressed with these nozzlers? Oh yeah. Look at that man. That you shot him right in the chest there, there the bullet came out the back. I mean unbelievable. I, I I can't believe that. That is that's unbelievable. No, that gun it does go 416. 416 Remington, yeah, with the nozzle bronze solid, 400, 400 grain. Man. And as much powder as you can pack in there, you don't shake it. Actually, you spoiled all our fun. Oh, yeah. you didn't get to we, shoot. We didn't get to shoot. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> well, I'll buy drinks tonight then. <laughs> Another successful elephant gun. Wow. This portion of Nosler's Magnum TV was brought to you by Shoot NC and Darkotic Splatter Targets. Have more fun shooting this offseason. Pick up the Shoot and See by Birchwood Casey and their new Darkotics line. The targets everyone's talking about. What's he shooting at? Oh no. What? A paper target. Ah, oh, why didn't he use Shoot and See like that guy? Shoot and See gives immediate feedback. There's no guesswork. Shoot and See targets give you more bang for your buck. Bullseye! Get Shoot and See targets today. Attention hunters, the Sportsman's Guide is America's largest supplier of name brand sporting gear at closeout prices. Save on thousands of items from clothing, boots, tree stands, and ammo. Shop online or request a free catalog. The Sportsman's Guide, lowest prices, best quality guaranteed. Experience the future of recoil technology. Caldwell engineered the lead sled to eliminate felt recoil from even the heaviest Magnum rifles. Versatility for every shooter, accuracy for every shot. The lead sled reduces recoil by up to 95% while securely holding your gun on target. No recoil, no flinch, no excuses. The lead sled line from Caldwell, the most advanced shooting rests ever developed. To find out more, visit CaldwellShooting.com. Nosler's Magnum TV is brought to you by Flextone's Untouchables Turkey Calls. Nature designed, Flextone engineered, Tipton's best gun vice and cleaning supplies. Crossbreed Holsters, leaders in holster concealment and comfort. The Sportsman's Guide, name brand hunting gear at closeout prices.
This portion of Nosler's Magnum TV is brought to you by the Revelation Lighted Hunting Knives from Real Avid. Completely and totally honored and blessed that you invited us out here for this hunt. Um, you know, this one is, is about the culture and the, and the people and the area and for the community to have us be the, the ones that come out and do one of these cull hunts for these problem animals is uh, just adds, I guess, to the emotional experience and, yeah. the, and the adventure itself. Uh, it's, it's more, 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 much more than the trophy. Yeah, there's about 4,000 people that live in the Doronamas Conservancy and they will be really pleased with the amount of meat we've just produced for them here. And uh, it's just what the elephants give a little bit back to the communities for them to tolerate the elephants in this area, to say it's okay if you break a water pump, we'll fix it. Yeah. Because once a year we get, get something thousands back. of pounds of meat, so yeah. we'll tolerate you have being here. But we got a little work delivering. Yeah, we've got, we've got a full day yeah. work tomorrow <laughs> delivering all this meat to the yeah. villages. So well, that'll be fun too. Yeah. So no, it was fantastic and absolute pleasure. Great having you here. And, uh, Let's do it again. This is a non-trophy elephant tag, which means I don't take anything home with me. The 100% of this elephant stays right here to benefit the local community. As you can see, everybody's gathering up here to start disassembling this, and this will spread out amongst several communities, and we'll start delivering it today. Probably take us a better part of the entire day to get it all done. They say an elephant hunt is a very emotional experience for any hunter, but the day that you uh, deliver the meat to the local community, that's, uh, that's a, a real emotional experience. From the West, to see that level of poverty is almost unfathomable to us. And to be able to provide meat to people that may get protein a month or two out of the entire year and live in the conditions that they have to live in is a lot to take in. And it is through trophy hunting that today, the 2nd of July, which is the historical day for us and Mujeve and even for First Interval Primary School, that we have brought this good news for you. The small gift is coming from the income which is generated through the trophy hunting. We just took part in a very special school board meeting. I don't know if you caught what was going on there, but a lot of history was made with the management of the Doro Navas Conservancy, what Amuebe is going to have to do with that with the school. He just donated uh, uniforms for all of the soccer teams for a big tournament that they have coming up. Uh, we've provided them with a ton of supplies that are going to take care of them for a very long time. Uh, a lot of that is coming from um, Amuebe and their creative ideas. Deuteronomy 14 says, Every so often you should take your increases, turn them into cash, travel to a foreign land, and spend it on anything your heart desires. I bet you didn't know that was there. Safari hunters do that all the time.